Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition effect as a preset in After Effects. So to start out I'm going to show what I mean by preset. Look what happens when the timeline gets to these red lines here. So the effect is attached to these solid layers, not to the actual footage. So there's actually several advantages to this setup. First of all, I can remove clips, add new ones. Also, let's say I want the effect to happen 10 frames farther down the timeline, I can just do that. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds to make that happen as opposed to having to start over. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start a new comp. Go to Composition, New Comp, Comp 2, 23 seconds is plenty of time. The way to create this effect is to use motion graphics, then apply them to a solid layer. And how you do that is first one is right click, new, solid. Now this effect is only going to be 20 frames long, so I'm going to come down to my timeline here. Just click on 20 frames. Then to get rid of all this excess, just push Control shift d delete that part right there. Now the first one I'm going to do is just the most basic rotation effect. Just click here, push R, click on little stopwatch, and I need it to begin and end at zero rotation. So I just go all the way to the end, and then just go a little bit off and then correct it, bring back to zero. So what you want to see is a beginning and an end right there. Then go to frame 9, go to 90, then go ahead one frame, go to negative 90, so it looks like this. And one thing about these transition effects, if you have this sort of linear speed, for some reason it just doesn't have a lot of polish to it. So what I want to do is highlight everything, push F9, then go to this little uh, graphic editor, I can come down here. So what I want to do is I want the speed of the rotation to go in slow, come out fast, come out fast, go in slow. So if what you do that is click on these little individual rotation dots, bring this forward, bring this down, so I have this sort of slow swoop up, come down here, rapid swoop up. So you have the these two swoops need to be a mirror image. So now the effect looks like this. It's got a little bit more polish to it. Get out of my graphics editor. So just like the rotation effect, I need the scale to begin at 100% and end at 100%. So just go here, make it off kilter, and then just type in 100. So for this effect to work, the color here has to cover the entire screen at all times. The way to actually kind of get the motion that I want is to go up here and just make the necessary adjustments so that the layer just barely covers the screen. So once like that, go here. At this point you should have a 100% scale and a zero rotation and it should also end at 100% scale and zero rotation. Now it's time to import just random footage that I have. This is from uh, an upcoming animated video I'm working on. So, you know, hey, cross promotion. So just edit to where you want the transition to actually happen. And the easiest way to find out where the transition is is just to uh, highlight your layer and push R because there's, you know, less changes there. And then push the uh, the center of the motion right on your layer. Then highlight both videos, 
come here to where it says parent and then just click and drag onto your solid layer then come over here to your solid layer and then click the eye which will make this layer invisible then click play and swoop and that's pretty much how this effect is done also let's say I want this to be a little bit later on in the effect I move everything down and now instead of ha the effect happening at this point it happens later on so before I wrap this up there is unfortunately one downside to this effect for some reason solid layers and adjustment layers don't like to be copy pasted into the same video I actually set this up to show what's gonna happen you push play it hits the first one all is well hits the second one and it does this unless that's what you're into in which case I got nothing for you so the way that I was able to get this effect where one transition after the other is that each one of these solid layers has to be animated individually but once that's actually done you can import whatever video you want and you can have the transition happen wherever you want so this is more of an editing shortcut rather than a multiple transition copy paste Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. I hope this helped you out. If you wanted me to do any other tutorials or you have anything you're having problems with, I always encourage those kinds of comments. And thanks a lot.